Hello, and welcome to the video to learn how to correct validation errors in TaxWise. The first errors displayed in the diagnostic window are diagnostic errors. Warnings, overridden entries, and estimated entries are also listed in this window. In this example, the error indicates that we need to check the box at the top of the W-2 stating that we have verified the taxpayer's address. Click on the error and the program will take you to that form. I will now select the box that is indicated in the diagnostic error. After you have corrected the issue, click Run in the diagnostic window. When the errors have been cleared, click E-File in the diagnostic window to create the E-File. Select the jurisdictions for which you would like to create the E-File for. And click OK. E-file validation errors can occur after you have attempted to create the e-files for the return. Validation errors can begin with what appears as a web address. This part of the error can be ignored. The element refers to the field on that particular form. The value refers to the text in that field. In this example the field name is the in care of name field and the value that was entered was the percent sign. If you click on the error, it will take you to that field. This is the in care of name field that is causing the validation errors, but because this information calculates from the main information sheet, go to that form to edit the field. I will now remove the percent sign from the name line 2 field. After you have corrected the errors, click run in the diagnostic window. And click e-file to create the e-files. Select the jurisdictions for which you would like to create the e-file for and click OK. Click OK again. The return can now be e-filed. Thank you for watching the video on how to correct validation errors in TaxWise.